Hi. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create tables in WordPress based on MySQL queries. To do that, I'll use WP Data Tables, the number one WordPress plugin for creating tables and charts. As you probably know, MySQL is a powerful SQL-based database engine. It allows you to create, read, and edit data quickly, even in large databases. It's so powerful that 70% of websites and apps use it. Even WordPress itself runs on MySQL. Our plugin, WP Data Tables, is integrated with MySQL, which means you can do a lot of neat things with it easily. First of all, you can use a MySQL server with WP Data Tables to do search, filter, sort, or paginate large data sets. Second, it allows front and back end editing of MySQL tables. You can also create MySQL tables from the WordPress admin. As an alternative, you can import CSV or Excel files to MySQL tables. If you're comfortable with writing SQL queries, then you can do that as well. We have imported a neat table in our PHP MyAdmin that we will use for this video. Let's use a query to see if it returns data from the table. We'll use select everything from this table. Now let's create a table based on this query. First, go to WP Data Tables in WP Admin. Then click on Create a Table. Select Create a Table linked to an existing data source and click Next. Now choose MySQL Query as the data source type. We'll then enter our query here and hit Apply. We now see our table looking great. Let's create a page for it and paste the short code for this table there. We'll publish the page and see how it looks in the front end. Looks good as you're probably expecting. We'll now try a more complex query and see if the plugin can handle it. I'll copy paste this query now and hit apply. Our table is quickly created based on this query. Let's try a different approach now. We should try a table with over several hundred thousand rows. If we follow the same procedure as before, this will load quite slow or it will be limited by your server's memory. However, WP Data Tables has a neat feature for large databases. You can toggle the server-side processing option and everything will work really quick. How? Server-side processing is available only for MySQL-based tables. What this means is that all filtering, sorting, pagination, and other data processing routines will be delegated to the MySQL engine. This way, only several rows will be fetched from the server by a background AJAX request at a time. What if I told you you can load tables from a remote MySQL connection? Would you believe me? Well, you should. To do that, you need to go to the WP Data Table Settings and click on Separate MySQL Connection. Then, toggle the switch and add your credentials there. Moving on to another interesting feature, editable tables sounds out of this world when you think of WordPress. Yet, it's possible with WP Data Tables. You can do that in two ways. One way to do it is to create it manually from the WordPress admin panel. Another way is by creating a MySQL-based table and configure it as editable. The first way is described in a separate tutorial that you can find on our website. How do we do the latter, you ask? After creating a MySQL query-based table, you'll need to go to the Editing tab and enable the Allow Front-End Editing switch. Then, check if MySQL table name and ID column were guessed correctly by WP Data Tables Engine on the Editing tab. There's a number of other options like inline editing, editor roles, and other. We'll go through those in a separate tutorial. You can also configure editable tables with the use of foreign keys configured, e.g. edit a query which uses joins. We have a separate tutorial on that, which you can find in our documentation pages. Let's address some limitations of using MySQL queries to build WP data tables. You should avoid using limit and order by clauses in your query. These are added dynamically by WP data tables engine when you use pagination, sorting, and filtering. So whatever you enter will be overwritten. If these are really needed, a MySQL view stored query can be used, and a WP data table can be created based on this query to this view. In case the query is rather complex, for example, if it contains multiple joins, or subqueries, or conditions, or a long WHERE clause, please prepare a MySQL view stored query based on it. You can name it My View. Then, prepare a WP data table by querying this view as select everything from My View instead of querying the table directly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.
Subscribe to our channel to see other neat and informative tutorials.